piece of ecology. Okay, uh, everyone. If you go back a hundred years, it's actually a natural stream. Uh -huh. And I'm sure you have the same thing in China. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking, I'm looking to get some students and for a longer term project here, is that about 40% of the watershed that this stream goes about 15 miles and actually goes into the Rock River right down here. Mm -hmm. The Rock River goes into the Mississippi. So anything you, you, you throw in here is in New Orleans. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, in, in a number of years. 40% of this watershed, I estimate, okay, is either concrete, asphalt, or a roof. Because this goes all through the community. So anything that happens in the parking lot, people are changing the oil in their car. Yeah, it affects or the whole ecology. Else is going on in the back seat yeah. of the car, okay, one way or another ends up down here. Yeah. And uh, so it's actually a, it's actually, it actually is a plotted stream. And technically, if I pour a gallon of oil in there, I have to call the Environmental Protection yeah. Agency right. and tell them about that. Right. Nobody cares. No. <laughs> but but uh, what, uh, what we're looking at doing, one reason for we're going to have wireless for this whole area here, so that we can use this as an environmental monitoring site. And remember I mentioned a water turbine? Yeah. I'm going to build a little dam over here. Oh, okay. Okay. You have to get permission from EPA okay. and no, everyone? No. EPA is supposed to. But what we'd like to do is use the electricity to pump the water up the hill. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then run it down at night. Reason being? Just an experiment of, you know, how you use hydropower. Okay, because the thing is that the, 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 the real opportunity in energy is storage. Yeah, yeah storage. Okay, because yeah. the reason why that power is so cheap is it's half of its wastes at night. Exactly. Yeah. So you can store it in...